okay hello everyone victor momo from excel moments and in this video i want to talk about checkboxes again and combine it with the filter function again <laughs> just to solve a problem i was asked on linkedin and i thought to demonstrate it so more people can get to see how it works in the event that you are faced with a similar challenge so what's the problem here so basically i've recreated this you know with a data set i feel maybe more representative so you have a list of employees and you have the departments they belong to the data is not sorted you know purposely just to make the point okay so this is your master data which could reside on a different worksheet and then you now have a table just a small table that lists a few of the departments it could be all the departments or some of them and it has check boxes here and whenever any of them is checked you want the names of people who belong to those departments to be returned here okay so right now we can see branding and admin checked and these are the folks in there so if i add finance that means bill gates and clark kent should appear on this list so let's do that okay so you can see bill gates and clark kent the list is sorted that's the reason why they're not added you know at the bottom or you know where you probably expected them to be added so that's kind of how it works and you want this small table to be dynamic in the event that if somebody adds you know a new department for example like say security okay you know this is not going to auto expand so i'm just going to put this here so automatically because you added security you now have bruce wayne and jeff bezos okay so bruce wayne and jeff bezos so how did i get this to work I would show you right now. Let me just undo this and then take this out. Okay, so basically it's very simple when you think about it or when you get it to work. So what I'm just going to do is this. For each of the names, I already have their departments beside them. So I'm going to do a lookup. So it's more or less like, you know, look up their departments on this small table here. So I'm looking up the departments from the master table on this small extract and I'm returning the status in the include column now you know that the check boxes basically are what true or false right and the true and false are the perfect fit for the filter function so what you're trying to do is you want to extract some names from here but what's the criteria the criteria is if i do a lookup you know of that person's department on this small table if it returns the status in the include column and it's a false meaning that person should be included. If it's a true, the person should be included. It's that simple. So what I'm going to do here is this, just on the side so I can, you can see it. I'll do a next lookup and I'm going to look up, you know, their departments, right? Look up this on this smaller table and I'm going to return the include criteria. That's basically what it is. So look for these departments, check if it can be found here and then what's the status. So close the bracket. Okay. So now you can see false and trues. The ones that are hash NAs are those departments that do not appear, you know, in this small table. So for that, I may decide to fix it using the fourth argument of the X lookup, which is the if not found, right? So it says if not found, what do you want? I could decide to put a zero or a false there. So since it's not on the list, it's not going to appear either way. So I could do a false, you know, just to get rid of the NAs, right? So this basically now gives me a true or false based on, let me uncheck everything except admin. So what do you see? You see that it's only admin that has a true here. So true, true, you know, that's admin. So basically once you have this, you know, this is your true or false, then you can filter based on this. Okay. So it's like you're filtering the names. So you are filtering the employee name, right? Based on, you know, that criteria. You don't need to do, oh, is X lookup equals to true or equals to false. It's already a false and a true. So you're fine, right? And you have what you want. Let me just take it, you know, here. Okay, All right? And what else? Maybe just put a sort around this if you want this to be alphabetical. Okay, so, and, right. And so now you can then include, you know, finance, you know branding when you add a new department security okay and let's just copy this paste okay those names are added it's that simple the trick is in the x lookup and combining filter and the checkbox for a very simple solution so i hope you like this video if you do like it please hit the like button you can also subscribe to the channel excel moments for now I'm out.